Hey everyone, Johnny B here with Johnny B Codes back for our 30 days of APIs challenge. This is day two, even though I guess technically these aren't coming out every day, but uh, anyways, in the last video, we talked about what an API is and what the base URL and endpoints are. And just to refresh, we are going to be using the catfax API, so right here, our base URL, so we come to uh, start developing, and our base URL is https colon slash slash cat-fact.herokuapp.com. And the endpoint that we are going to be using is slash facts slash random. So we know where on our API we want to get data from, but how do we actually do that? The answer is we make an HTTP request. The most basic request is called a get request, which is what we'll be starting with here. And we can actually do this right in the browser. In fact, every time you go to a website, you are making web requests in a similar way um, that we make API requests. You have a specific URL that you type into a web browser. It goes off to the servers, wherever all of those files and data is stored. Then the server returns that data and files and the browser presents it as a website. So let's try this out. Um, we're gonna come back here to our base URL. Go ahead and copy your base URL. Open up a new tab, paste the base URL, and then we want the facts slash random endpoint. And when we press enter, we are sending a get request to this endpoint. And if there's no errors, then the API will return data. So let's press enter and uh, make our first API request. Hey, there we go. So what we see is some text here. Um, we have used, false, source, API, type, cat. And uh, what we want eventually is right here, the text. It says, this is, our, this is the random fact that we got back. Cats can be taught to walk on a leash, but a lot of time and patience is required to teach them. Alrighty, so there's our uh, first cat fact. So it's not very readable right now. What we have here is what is called um, a JSON format, which stands for JavaScript Object Notation. The majority of APIs that you run into will return their data in this format. It's a little bit hard to read in uh, right now within it's just uh, kind of in its raw form. So let's go ahead and copy that. And I'm gonna show you how to format it so that we can uh, kind of look at it in a nicer way. Open up a new tab and Google um, JSON formatter. And that just took me to straight to a website. I actually don't want this one, JSON formatter. And uh, I like the one from uh, curiousconcept.com, JSON formatter. So click on that. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to paste that raw JSON right here and then say process. And then right here, we'll see that it's valid. And you can kind of uh, drag this down a little bit. And now you can see that it is much simpler uh, to read. So let's talk real quick about the anatomy of a JSON object. Uh, you will see that all JSON objects begin and end with curly braces like you see here. Inside of a JSON object, you will have name value pairs, okay? So for instance, here we have a name and its value is, or the, its name is type, and then the value is cat. This is similar to key value pairs in dictionaries or hash maps of other languages. So the key is always going to be a string, but the value can be a string, a number. We see here we have uh, a Boolean, numbers, can be arrays, and you can even have nested uh, JSON objects like we see here with status, okay? So the name or the key is status, but the value is actually another entire uh, nested JSON object. All right, so we've made our first API request, and I think that is pretty darn exciting. Um, but we can make this process a bit easier than typing it into a browser and then using a converter. Um, when working with APIs, I like to use a program called Postman. So you can get that at postman.com. And uh, if you just go to download the app and download that, um, go ahead and do that. And when you get back, we'll uh, take a look at Postman and how we can use it. 
All right, so Postman is a powerful and free program for interacting with APIs. Um, so I have it open up here. And one of the cool things you can do with Postman is share what are called collections of API calls. So throughout this series, I'm going to be adding more and more API calls to this collection and then sharing them um, as we go along so you can have quick access to them. Um, but for now, you probably don't have any uh, API requests. Um, click on new collection to create a new collection. I've already done that. Mine is called 30 days of APIs. So now we need to create a new request. You can do that by right clicking here and then go to add request, or you can click on the ellipse button here and go to add request. Then we can give it a request name. I'm gonna call it get random cat fact and uh, we're going to add it to the 30 days of api collection and we're going to save that and then if we click on it right here we can construct our http request so with postman you can make um, some pretty complex network requests as you can see here um, we have all sorts of method uh, request types Here's where we enter the actual endpoint. Um, you can enter in a bunch of different parameters in key value form, authorization, headers, a body. Um, you can do a whole bunch of stuff. We are starting super simple. So all we need is to make sure that this is set to get and then enter our request URL just like we did before in the browser. So I'm just going to paste to that. Okay, so again, that's HTTPS colon slash slash cat dash fact dot Heroku app dot com slash facts slash random. Let's go ahead and uh, save that. And then we're going to press send. And this is essentially doing the same thing that we did in the browser where we entered it in the browser and then pressed return. So this is again going to be hitting this endpoint with our network get request and then returning a response. So if we click on it, there we go. We can see uh, that we have our JSON response um, in this nice format again. If yours doesn't look like this, it might uh, be set to raw and you can just click on pretty right there. And again, we have a new cat fact. When cats grimace, they are usually taste scenting. They have an extra organ that with some breathing control allows the cats to taste a sense the air. Hmm, very interesting. Alrighty, so just to recap what we learned in this video, we use HTTP requests to hit an API endpoint, which will then return a response, usually in the JSON format. The JSON format consists of JSON objects made up of name value pairs. We then look at we then looked at Postman, uh, which is a program we'll be using throughout the rest of this series, which makes working with APIs um, a lot easier. So in the next lesson, we will finally start our client project and learn how to parse and display our JSON data. See you in the next one.